Uh, this is Bo Pilgrim, Bo Knows Insurance, Reader Insurance. I'm going to talk to you today about that very thing, about why would an insurance company cancel your home policy or your auto policy, and then also what uh, what can you do if that does happen to you? So let's start talking about that right now and give you some options so that way you can know that maybe you do have some options if you get one of those notices. You know, first thing to know is just don't freak out. Talk to your insurance agent. If you don't have an insurance agent, once you get this thing straightened out, get an insurance agent and then start talking to them about what you can do. So why would you get your homeowner insurance policy canceled? What are some of those reasons? Well, one of those reasons is it could just be that the insurance company is not writing in your state anymore. You know, we've seen in the states of Texas and Louisiana, also in the state of Florida, but really especially in Florida and Louisiana, where a lot of insurance companies have gone bankrupt because of a massive amount of claims that have happened the last couple of years. You know, that has been devastating to a lot of insurance companies. So they have, you know, unfortunately had to pull out of those states. It could be something like that, or it could be something just going on with maybe your mortgage company didn't pay your premium. Maybe if your mortgage bills and they didn't pay it, then maybe you need to look into seeing why they didn't pay that and see if you can get that taken care of. You know, what are some other reasons? Well, it could be just you missed the bill. Maybe you set it up on a draft or credit card billing and the credit card has gone out of date. You know, something just as easy and benign as that could be what happened there. So take a look and see if maybe that's what's happened with your homeowner policy. Well, what are some other things? Well, maybe you just got some underwriting issues. Maybe there's some maintenance you need to take care of. Maybe there's a, uh, you know, some sort of situation like that. But whatever it is, know that there are options for you. So first thing you need to do is consider, is my mortgage paying my premium or is it on a credit card? Or did I get some sort of letter from the insurance company saying I need to fix something? Uh, then, call your insurance agent. Pick up the phone, call your insurance agent and say, hey, I got this letter, what does it mean, what can I do? And then they will start telling you and they'll look into it to tell you what you can do. If it's a deal where you've just got some maintenance that needs to be taken care of, well then you can call your, you can talk to them, they'll give you a copy of a letter that you should have gotten from the insurance company. They'll tell you different things that maybe you need to address. If you've already addressed those, then you can just start, uh, you can provide the receipts and pictures showing that you have fixed those different issues and then provide that to the company and they can probably reinstate that for you. If it is already past that date, well then you probably can get insurance again on that. So, well, let's talk about your auto insurance, right? Um, that was talking about the homeowner insurance. Let's talk about the auto insurance now. So let's say you get a letter on your auto insurance saying that they're canceling your insurance. Well, it could be some of the same situations Obviously, it's not the mortgage deal because you don't have a mortgage on your car. You may have a lien, but they don't pay it anyway. So you may just have an issue where you changed bank accounts, forgot to update it, you missed a bill, or you had it on a credit card bill and your credit card date, expiration date changed and you forgot to do update it. Or it could be something else. Maybe your, maybe your driver's license is expired. Um, whatever it is, Pick up the phone, call your insurance agent, and see if you can figure out what you can do, what your options are to try to resolve that issue. There's probably solutions that you can take care of and you probably don't need to panic. So just reach out to them, see what you can figure out. And if, if again, you don't have an insurance agent that you can call, well, after you get this resolved, find an insurance agent. They can go to bat for you and help you solve these problems so that you don't have to worry about it. Hey, this is Bo Pilgrim, Bo Knows Insurance, Read Insurance. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Appreciate you watching. Bye.